We're following breaking news out of Guilford tonight where another drowning has occurred. Police say a man was pulled from a lake this afternoon over flipping over in a kayak. This comes less than a day after a 16 year old died after drowning in our state. Fox 61's Tony Black is live in Guilford with the breaking developments and what you need to know to stay safe. Tony. Yeah, Carmen, the water that we want to enjoy on hot weekends like this one, it's not where we want it to be at, probably in the 50s or 60s, just standing along the shore here of Lake Quantipog. Definitely a little bit chilly, and please say that cold water can put your body into shock, and they say people need to know the conditions of the water and also know what your body can do after two people died this weekend. You never know what can go wrong um, out on the water. Two people drowned this weekend in Connecticut waters while trying to beat the heat in these scorching temperatures. In Guilford, police say a 33-year-old man capsized while trying to retrieve his kayak paddle on Lake Quantipog Sunday. And on Saturday, police say a 16-year-old boy drowned on Uncas Pond in Lyme while swimming with friends. So far, the number of people who have died in the water this year is now at five, which is a concern for police as it hasn't even hit Memorial Day weekend yet. We go through this every year, this time of year. You know, you get the warm temperatures, everybody comes outside, they want to recreate, uh, but the water temperatures are still very cold. Keith Williams with the Environmental Conservation Police says people should know what their body can do. The family of the kayaker in Guilford told police he was not a good swimmer. Please say wear a life jacket and learn what to do if you do capsize on a vessel. Especially if you're not used to it or you're not sure of your abilities. Williams says the water of some lakes and the Long Island Sound may still be in the 50s or 60s. If working up a sweat either in the sun or through activities on the water, he says that cold can shock the body. You get in like a cannonball type of, you know, position just to keep your body core temperature where it's at. Divers tried life-saving efforts on both victims this weekend, but were unsuccessful. Bill Morrison with the Tallinn County Rescue Divers says travel in numbers and until the water warms up, don't spend long periods of time in it. When you're feeling a little chilled, get out of the water. Uh, go back in uh, once you've uh, rewarmed. Stick to shallow water, but if you do get in trouble in deeper waters, try and call for help. Those who answer that call should also pay attention. The best thing that that we can hope for is that the caller is aware of their surroundings, that they've gotten a location last time the person was seen. Carmen and police really recommend that people take swim classes, even if they know how to swim, no matter what their age is, just so that you know how to handle the, wa the water. They also say have a swim plan. Let people know where you're going, when you're going, and when you're planning to come back so they can make sure that you're okay. We're live in Guilford. Tony Black, Fox 61 News.